What's up, YouTube? This is FlexiMan54 bringing you yet another deck profile for, for the Card Fight Vanguard game. And also, this is a Bermuda Triangle deck. Yes, it's a Bermuda Triangle. I love the build. And basically, I like you know playing it. It's really fun to play with. It's not really that much of a competitive deck until the next set comes out legally. But right now, it's actually a really good fun deck. You know, make your opponent like kind of squirm, kind of make them like kind of kind of like think rethink their option because they not a lot of people play this deck, and you know it's one of those card those decks you want to see. And I like playing it because it's really really fun to play with. <laughs> so here we go. Here's your main starter, the Bermuda Triangle Cadet Weddle. Um, you put her and if you put another um, Bermuda Triangle in, on top of her, she moves to the rear guard. If you, and so and then also her other effect is put her in the soul. And return a, a Bermuda Triangle unit from the rear guard to your hand. So a lot of the cards in my my rear, my um, my deck are based around that kind of effect to return to the hand, like most Bermuda Triangles. So she's really good. It's a free cost, so why not? So there's the starter right there. For the triggers, we play eight critical triggers. Nothing special with that, though. And then we play. Four draw triggers again, nothing special about them until the next set comes out for them. And then we play four heal triggers. I cannot wait till the new set comes out um, for moving triggers only. Um, I cannot wait. I'm gonna probably buy four or five boxes of those and I'm gonna try to make another deck around them. For the grade ones, we play four of the perfect guards. And like I said in the other videos, I've stated. And I probably have to state this again because not a lot of people watch all my videos. In this format, with the blood, the um, the end, and um, let's throw a blaster. You need to have these kind of this kind of card in here. Protect yourself from being you know too get too KO'd or something KO'd right away. So you might want to have these just to nullify those really ridiculous powerful attacks. Um, since we're limited to, uh, from unit triangles, we play four of the eight thousand K booster. At thousand K vanilla monsters, um, I can't again. Like I said, I cannot wait till the new set comes out, so it gives us more support and actually more of a deck that can be more competitive. Then we play Persis of Perry. When she's placed in the rear guard circle, and there's a, the Bowser of Perla in the vanguard or any other place in the field, basically you give her give the Perla an extra effect based on kids of her. Her effect is give it to some to the Perla. And the, this, the effect that it gives is like if it's a return, if the um, attack hits the vanguard, soul charge one, you draw one card. Basically, you just you're doing a free draw, no like no questions asked. On top of that, you get Perla's effect too. So, yeah. Next, we play turquoise blue, Tyru Vinia. I don't, I can't pronounce her name. Some of these names are weird. Um, basically, if this supports a successful attack onto the vanguard. Nope. It's, it's a, my van. Yeah. yeah, when it hits a vanguard successfully, when it boosts another rear guard, another um, Bermuda Triangle unit. So if I attack her onto your rear, your vanguard, and the attack was successful, I can return a Bermuda Triangle from my field to the to the hand, no cost at all. I'm thinking about taking one of them out because two, three seems to way too much, and the attack power on her is not that big. It's only five thousand, so. Two will be enough. Three, I'm not sure. Um, but then again, like I said, I'm trying to wait for the newest stuff to come out first before I make any deck changes. So this may be on hold after this video. But I'm still going to play for fun. Next for the grade twos, Pearl Sisters Perla. Her effect is that the attack was successful while she's in the Vanguard or Rearguard circle. This card has the ability to Soul Charge 1 and the attack hits a Vanguard. You may pay the cost of one... One um soul blast. If you do choose another your Bermuda Triangle re rear guards and return to your hand. So basically, instead of using Carol Blast, you use um a soul blast instead, which is free basically, and it's pretty good, especially when you prepare it off with Pur Puri. You can, so she gets two effects instead. Next, we play three of the B girls rock reel. Her effect is when she goes from the field to the hand, um basically. You get the Soul Charge 1 and draw one card. All it, all it costs you is just to bring it back to your hand. And we have a lot of cards that can do that right here. I might get put a 4th one in there. I'm not sure, but 
I'm still playtesting it for fun. Next we play the Top Idol Aqua. Sorry I don't know all these names. I have not memorized all the names. It's used to 10k Vanilla Monster. And then the Intelli... Until Auto Melville. Her effect is when she's in the Vanguard circle and you do a drive check, there's a grade three. We turn a Bermuda Triangle from the field to the rear to the hand. And then you can superior call any Bermuda Triangle from your hand back onto the field. So basically it's it's a free summoning either way, but I might take her out either way. I don't really like her that much. Because usually you just use her for defending. For grade threes, we play top idol Pacifica. Her effect is, um, if you have a four or more rear guards in the in, in the of Bermuda Triangles, she gets an extra three thousand power, so it's a thirteen k just for having four or more rear guards. Um, you, during the beginning of your turn, so, uh, you soul charge one, draw one, and put one of the cards in your hand into the soul. This basically gives you more draw and power and more like strategic ways to actually get cards you want and get rid of the cards you don't want like excessive amounts of grade 3's or grade 2's you don't want. And also if she attacks with successful and attack, hits a vanguard, you soul blast 8 and then you counter blast 5 and you get to special summon up to th special up to 3 or special summon yep up to 3 bring me a triangle units to the rear guard. So basically if your attacks didn't succeed the first time just get brand, brand new feel. It's ridiculous. That's why I like playing her, and I can't wait till the limit break. To the limit break version of her comes out. Next, we play the Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Princess Lena. Her effect is when she's placed in the Vanguard Circle, return all the cards back to your hand from the rear guard. And basically, she's also the same thing as um, Pacifica. She gets four, three thousand power extra if there's four more four more rear guards of the Bermuda Triangle Clan. Next, we got the Rainbow Light Kareen. Her effect is um, when she's returned from the from the field to the field to the hand, you soul charge one and draw one card. It's basically the same thing as Girls Rock Rio, but Girls Rock Rio can intercept this one cannot. And of course, then we play Top Auto Flores. When she attacks successfully, you can counter blast, you can soul blast two, and basically you return one of your bring your triangles to your rear guard to your hand. So I play her because she's another option just in case I don't have Pacifica or um, Lena 